A nice easy trick to start with is spin because it is pretty much a single action behavior and any dog can do it within reason. Your dog can be young, old, um, they don't have to be, it's not a physically challenging thing for your dog to do. And the way I'm gonna start is by placing a treat right on Walter's nose and moving it slowly around in a circle and clicking and rewarding him for that. Then I'm gonna do a hand signal I still had food in my hand, and then the next step is I'm gonna cue it, click it, reward it. So again, you're going to be watching what your dog does, good, and rewarding it, okay? So that's, uh, spin is great for dogs of all sizes, all ages, it's not too complicated to train, um, so it's a good one to get started with. Another trick that is pretty good to get started with is the paw behavior. Some people call it shake, I refer to it as paw. And the way that I'm gonna get started with that with Walter, in this case, I'm not gonna use the clicker because my hands are gonna be full. I'll use a verbal marker instead. I'm gonna put a treat right up to his nose and I'm gonna explain something that's gonna happen before I do it. Chances are, if he can't get the treat out of my hand, he's gonna to try to bat it out of my hand. So I'm gonna have my other hand ready. Yes. And the minute he brings his paw up, and makes contact with my hand, I mark it. Yes, and then I reward it. And then I wanna fade out the food. Yes. Perfect, sweetie. Now, in shaping a behavior, Walter knows these steps pretty well, but some dogs don't raise their paw up that much, that quickly. So you wanna break all of your training down into small achievable steps. As your dog's teacher, you want to know what the end result you're looking for looks like, and that way you can look for any um, successive approximation towards the final result. So if he had just moved his paw up a little bit, I would have rewarded that. And then I would have looked for larger, more um, higher arm movements. Good, till I get that end result there. But you wanna break your training up into small achievable steps so that you and your dog are having fun and being successful. And the greatest thing about paw is that once you've got that, it's pretty easy to get high five. It's just a variation in really how you hold your hand. We'll get, just see what that looks like. Good, let's try that again. High five, good. Sit, paw, good, high five, good. And those are three tricks that I think are really great for getting started with your tricks training program.